Some great features on the FOF Passport 3.0 is that the throat plate is in American um, numbering. So if you're looking for seam allowances, a 5 8 inch seam allowance or a 3 8 look, there's even a red line right here on the front of the little door that covers up your bobbin for a quarter inch line. So between all of those, you can really work on getting nice, perfect, accurate seam allowances. Now remember the seam guide that was included with the accessories? This little guy can go into the back. Notice there's a little hole back there and there's a screw at the top. Now, if this is getting in the way, just disengage the IDT to help you with this. Loosen the screw, slide the, the seam guide in, set it for the distance you need, tighten the screw, re-engage the IDT, and now we have a guide, kind of like training wheels, that will help you sew perfectly straight. Or if you're gonna sew multiple rows, uh, on top of a fabric. So for example, oh yep, there's a little uh, cutter on the side of the machine. Sometimes I use that. But if I want to sew multiple rows, I can sew, I can mark just one line. Now I can put the seam guide right next to the line I just stitched and have perfectly parallel rows. This way, if I want straight lines, if I want rows of decorative stitches, all I have to do is put my guide on my fabric and measure out the exact length that I want for every single uh, distance that I would like to stitch. So with when you're doing quilting or doing some of that channel quilting in, or cross hatch, cross hatch means you go back and <laughs> go the opposite direction. So that means you gotta sew twice as much, but it's worth it, it always looks so good. Put the seam guide on and keep it nice and even.